buddies here. And the fire department. Good afternoon. Hi. I'm Mark. Hello, Mark. I'm with Waterloo Fire Rescue. I'm Denise. Hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. I'm Hello, Brad. Brad. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Brad. Hi, Denise Shamir from Shamir, Bylon Forest. Shamir, good to meet you. And you are responsible to work here today. Please make sure everybody's okay. Okay, everybody's fine. Perfect. Everybody's fine. We're here for an inspection. So I don't know go, why we have police here, but we're gonna go through first, okay? Sure. Um, and then Shamir's gonna go through second, okay? So we're All right. Go you don't mind if I accompany nope. you inside? Is Chris here? No, he's not. Oh, he's not. Oh. Home. Is okay. there anyone else home? No, just okay. me. Just we're not gonna surprise anyone. No. Yeah, come on, guys. Yeah. And they're just here to keep uh, keep the peace and keep things. Moving. Well, I'm not going to hurt anybody. This is this is about our landlord and, yeah. and his responsibility, isn't it? Yeah, and that's why we're here. We're just here to check some of the fire protection. So we're just going to test. Is it okay if we test? Yeah, absolutely. If you need anything, just let me know. It's hard. It's a hard wire. It's hard wire. Okay. It also has a battery backup as, as well, I think. Okay. This uh, is any, the. Uh, any limits, Denise? On, that's on, the uh, carbon go. monoxide. Okay, we'll test that next. Is there any limits on where we can go? Just you, you're welcome to go wherever oh, you need yeah. to go. Okay. Denise, how do you spell your name? D E N I S E. And what's your last name? D U V A L. D U V A L. Yes. Okay. And you want the day on it, Mark? So Denise, once once fire is done doing their inspections, mm -hmm. um, then I can come through and okay. inspect for some of the uh, other properties. The standards deficiencies that we were talking about. Yeah. Now, are you expecting Chris to come back? Because he, the reason I'm asking is from my no, perspective. No, 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 no. No, he's 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 out for a while. He's taking my dog out for a walk, and he's got okay. some okay. He's got some things to do. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get Mark to test this, and then you can test the gate too. So the height is actually okay to have it at that height. For that? It is. Carbon yeah. monoxide? Yeah, it makes this fairly evenly with air. So uh -huh. the height is actually okay. Um, we do want to check the date on it. The only time you can't put it up that high is if you're setting it on something. And we don't okay, I was familiar with what they were saying about like a foot or two off the floor in a basement area. Well, it's just it has a sticker's point, though. It's, it's a newer model, but... Yeah. We can check data manufacturer on it. Yeah. Sure. Try that. Do you know when you put that up, please? I have no idea. Okay. No, we just moved in and okay. things were the way they how, were. How long ago was that? Did you move Two, years. Two, Two years. Two years. Yeah. Like this yeah. Okay. All right. We'll go upstairs. Oh, I have to vacuum it. I'm sorry. I didn't that's get to okay. do that today. This is just hardwired, right? Yeah, so that's all working. It's not monitored. Or There's one in each it? of the bedrooms as well. And it's all... Do you have steps to do or anything? Right behind you, right here. I'm all ready for you. <laughs> oh, you can grab... I'll hold it. You can pull it. There you go. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Do you want to listen for... Uh... I see through other... Uh, just for the basement, so this one is replaced in 20, uh, 2024, okay. Mark. Uh, and it's smoke and seal? I'm looking, I'm just trying to see, this is a hard smoke alarm only here. And this is just a smoke alarm. Okay. We have a, a fire extinguisher on every floor, too. Okay. okay. That's good. You ready? Do you want to listen downstairs? Yep. Are, there, are these connected to the ones in the bedrooms or no? Yes. The whole house, if one goes off, they all go off. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure, especially in the basement, Mark. They're really loud. They do the job, though. Yeah, they work well. They're really good. If I were to have a system, that's the one I would have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you heard it downstairs? Yeah, it goes on both me and then. Okay. Uh, we, I don't see a carbon monoxide, don't mark. Oh, right here. Right here. This well, there one. is one there. Oh, okay. Right here. Okay. okay. I 
Just ask me and I... You've got yeah. them in every bedroom? Every bedroom. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to steal that then and we'll touch them all. There you go. I need your hard wire too? Yeah. As far as I know, they're all the same. This one. There's one here too. This one is 2024 as well, Mark. Looks like they probably... Okay, give her a hand. Yep. Yep, holy. Yeah. I think they all went in... It tests for a limited amount of time, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, There should be one in there, too. Is that okay? It's a storage room. It's a storage room. It's just storage. Just want to make sure... Yeah. Nope. Yeah, there is, too. Yeah. Uh, 2024 again. Can you squeeze that in there? Okay. Okay, you ready, Marky? Yep. It did start chirping over here. Oh, was it chirping? Yep, I heard it. Alarm. Okay, but it didn't chirp, did it? No, no, it just sorry, I heard the signal come yeah. through on yeah. this alarm over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. One more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay, for you. no problem. Thank you. No problem. Is this all the bedrooms up here? Yeah. Or that's no everything. So there's no bedrooms in the basement? No, um, no, but we have a studio in the basement. Yeah. So it's three, three bedrooms. There's, yeah, three bedrooms. Well, they had more at one time. Which was here, Marky? It was packed with students and yeah, this landlord at one time. This the door's got a door skin on it. The landlord was in the basement. Oh, uh, you don't want to rent it out. Okay. Yeah. There we go. That was the previous owner. Yeah. So I'm going to check that too. Sorry. This has a door skin. Two mark, I think. Yep. Door skin on this guy. So all doors have door skids, and they're all 20 minute doors. So that's good. Yeah, that's a great, <laughs> that's an interesting feature. This one isn't so good, though. I don't, I'm not, not sure. No, know. this wouldn't be, but this doesn't have to be. Right. And actually, those door skins actually aren't required. So you actually don't have to have those. Yeah. It's good to have them, because it'll stop the fire oh, in yeah. a couple minutes. But do you guys know Tim Forsyth? I do know that Tim name. Forsyth? I don't know why I know that name. Oh, he's a kitchen firefighter, isn't he? Yeah. 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 He, he got can he has cancer right now. Oh no. Yeah, he's getting better though. But good. Uh, yeah. He he went and fought that blaze in Kitchener. Right? Oh, he's one of the uh yeah. fire they people. They used to call him Mikey. Yeah. Oh, we got there for you. We might okay. do that too. All right. Okay, I'll raise the light here too, Marky. Just a second. Just gonna I think there's a button on there, is it? Yeah, Just don't right. come down, plummeting down the stairs, oh, please. <laughs> we don't want any firefighters coming out of here. That one, that one needs to be. It's not required by law anymore, um, but he has to decide if he wants to maintain it or remove it. So okay. It's nice to have it though when everything goes out, right? Goes oh yeah. House, so it's it probably just needs a battery. So Okay. Okay. Uh, and this is just That's a, Chris's bedroom. Okay. This is Chris's room, but there's no fire there's no fire to smoke alarm in here. Okay. There's well, nothing. Does he actually require one? Because he's got it in the hallway here. Yeah. So I'll just have a quick look. No extension yeah. cords or anything like that, eh? No. Power no. bars are fine. We, all, we always use power bars. Good job. That's yeah, great. yeah. That's what we want here. Yeah, we use power bars. Good. Is he a musician, Chris? Is he? Absolutely. We both are. Good we both you. are. I'm an artist, too. Okay, so there's that. I don't see any extension cords. So there's the power bars. And with this equipment, you're not going to want to extension cords. So just a note for intervening door. Oh, we do have an intervening door. You're right. A what? So this is what we call an intervening door. Right. Um, so if this were closed for whatever reason, just for convenience or because smoke or whatever, it could actually stop. Uh, right. So we typically, if there's an intervening door, we'd want a smoke alarm right here then. 
So we're gonna, we'll probably be asking for, for one there. Yeah. It's usually open. But to be fair, you can yeah. take that one and you can move it there. If it's not okay. interconnected. Yeah. It's interconnected though, isn't it? Interconnected? Yeah, it is. That's the hard wire. So I'll have to put the power to power. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Other than that, where do we have one in here too? Yes. Oh, you do have one. Over right here. here. Okay. This was a bedroom as well at one time. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Okay, if I just for a second stand on these checks. Make sure it's I'm gonna make sure it's good and safe. Sure. Yes, you go ahead. Yeah. Right, one second just to check the date, that's all I'm doing. So they all went in at the same time, basically. Except for one. Yeah, Except one, for one. one, one and then we just have the basement to check, right? That's it, yes. The back door here. Yeah, he went to get some screening for the house, too. He's, like I said, he has some air in the studio. Okay. Um, there you go. All right, Mark, you coming? Just, just give me a second if I can catch up with you over here. Sure. I can turn that so light on. Here, right? Not, no. Nope. Just yes. Chris and I. Good. Just like our living, living areas. There we go. Okay, we do have one extension cord here. So we'll have to get that changed out for a I don't know. Oh, yeah. You do. It's just for your lab. You can okay. get quite long power bars now. Yeah, yeah. So we might have to get you some. Okay, well, I can unplug it if it's better. Sure, yes. Okay, I'll unplug, unplug it. it. That helps us. Oh, we have power bars. We yeah. have all kinds. Yeah. Okay, so she yeah. just unplugged it. Mark, you're satisfied with that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you guys won't plug that back in. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, she's storage in here, Mark. Good. Okay. All right. Um, is there a smoke alarm? Yeah. Right there. Right here. Right here. Marky. And there's no sweeping down here, so no nope. uh, carbon monoxide required down here. So, good. Good. Right, wow, this is all separated in here, too. You don't yeah. even see that. Yeah. But that's because it was a large or something. Yeah, it was. Nice big window, it looks like here. Yeah, it's a nice window. I don't know. Up for safety, did you? No, they did. Well, they had that there, but I don't think it's really. It's just for visible. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then we just have. Uh, is this a furnace or something? Here? That's the uh, dryer venting, and that's the electrical inside there. Okay. Do you know is it breaker? It's all breaker. Right? Yeah. Great. Yeah. So it's just a breaker panel here. They stuff the ceiling with rock salt too, Mark. Okay. It's. Uh, it's a wonky right. door. <laughs> yeah, so this is still, this is actually okay. Yes. Um, Just to check the bottom for, every, yeah, every couple of months. Clean your lint yeah. trap for new installations. You can't do that anymore. It has to be the, t the hard, now the tin. Oh. Well, I think these are still acceptable, aren't they, Mark, existing? Yeah, I just pull it out, I undo the bottom, and I pull if there's any fuzz in there, I take yeah. it out. And you have a ton of detection in this house, if you ever had So problem. we're, oh yeah, I'm really happy with that. Uh, and yeah. having, you know, like I said, we have an extinguisher on every floor. Is this um, going to the freezer? I have a feeling that's probably your freezer. Can you just pull it, Mark, a bit? Yeah, it's right it's power. Yeah. Uh, okay. We have another extension cord right here. He's just trying to see what. Uh, that's okay. We'll have that's to the blue cord for the light. It's for the light, okay. yeah. And so it's it's being used as an extension cord. It is, yeah. yeah. That's so okay. We'll have to get the owner to deal with that. Yeah, so just a concern because these draw a lot of power. Okay. That's right. It could overheat the circuitry and cause a fire. So All right. Gonna, so we'll, we'll get a. a um, Power yeah, bar, power bar for, for in power here. Yeah. Or okay. Yeah, you can get, you I think in. you can get like 16 footers now. Power bars. That's good. So it really I think it's over here. It's plugged in yeah. right there. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that we definitely we don't want to have extension cords as permanent. Okay, so we'll get one on there today. 
Okay. We've got so some extras in the Mark house. is probably going to provide a pub ed. Just okay. some common things to do. That's perfect. That's yeah. why I was recording, so I wasn't going to forget anything, yeah. too. Good. Yeah. Okay. And for Chris, too, of course, because he's not here, so you can see what uh, the recommendations you, that, you have. I will tell you, though, that the house is you have a lot of detection. That's good, yeah. You have a lot of detection. That's usually, good. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's peace of mind, eh? Okay. If, if we could get this little situation sorted out, I have flooding coming in every well, and we spring. Have, well, that's a power bar. Good. One thing with this guy. Yeah. Um, I would disconnect uh, these guys here. Yeah. Those things there. Yeah. From me, I wouldn't do that because it actually it, it creates resistance. On the okay. Water. Creates a little bit of a fire concern. Yeah. I would instead just um, use a what are they called? It's a zip ties. Okay. Just kind of zip tie it in there. But All not right. Tight. Don't do it tight. Right. You want to yeah, you don't want to constrict it or pinch it. Yeah. yeah. Any resistance heating is going to be a problem. Okay. Yourself. Good. Okay. All right. Okay. We're in the process of fixing that. Keeps popping out of the wall. Okay. Are we so good? Okay. So again, in order to help us kind of help you, just so you, because we're tenants here, um, just to know that when you, anytime you have a problem with a carbon monoxide alarm or a smoke alarm, to notify the landlord. Okay. Because that's always the first step in the process, because that's the first question we'll ask is, did you notify the landlord? And if you did, we can act on your behalf and follow up and get right. the owner to Very good. take care of things. Thank you. They'll fight us. They'll fight us if you want to notify first. Okay. Um, so charges for okay. Um, uh, the other thing too, you would know that the hot water heater, the uh, okay. Oh, it was just replaced. The the water heater was just replaced. And, the is actually and they uh, they had to uh, fix some venting. Good. Okay. So is that it, was um, done. It can was. I just check one more thing. I just want to check yeah, yeah. If it's a power net, I don't know if it's a power net. If there was a power net, so. I'm not sure what they have there. I'm not sure. Go have a look and see what that is. Do you know where the light is there, Brad? He just, like he, yeah, he said, I can't put the new water heater in until this is done. Okay. Is this a new, is this one though? Is this that is, a new water that's heater? brand new. Yep. Now, see where it comes together there? Mm -hmm. Is that done properly? Is that I will, so I'm correct? not a, I'm not a, uh, uh, a gaster, but what I can tell you is it, it does look like it's what's yeah. called direct vent. Like he said, he was not going to put it in until it was revented yeah. properly. So that's what we call a direct vent. Okay. The way you see it is a vent went up through the ceiling. Yeah. And that's for your mid and low efficiency furnaces. Right. Um, so that's a high efficiency furnace. It's a good furnace. It is, yeah. It's a very good so furnace. So it's direct vent. Mark, just have a look. Yeah. Both, yeah, the, the hot water heater is into the same vent yeah. as the, uh, the hot water heater is into the same vent as the, both uh, not a power vent, though. Okay. not power vent, no, but direct, they're both direct vent outside. So that it's a newer system, system, basically. It looks like it, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's got the, uh, dust control on it, too, I think. I'm Good. Not sure. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So I just have to take care of that. It's number one. Yeah, just the extension. And then I'm going to tell Chris about these little just things. Just tell me you should zip tie them. Okay. You can, you'll often see um, the little uh, uh, connections like this right here. Went for, uh, for permanent wiring. Yeah. But it's designed to have that. We never know if you, with the power bars and the extension cords if, they're, if the husk of the of the cord is thick enough to actually to avoid resistance heating. Okay, and I so, see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And usually they're plastic. You don't know what kind of plastic. No, that's right. And sometimes if they come from China, yeah. <laughs> or where they're coming, exactly where they're coming from. So, well, thank you, Lewis. That's thank it. you, Brad. Thank you, thank you. Thank you well, very you much, you no guys. Problem. Yeah, any questions, give me a call. Okay. So we'll follow up with the landlord, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Okay. He's gone around the backyard, yeah. has he? Okay. I guess we can. I like your front window. Yeah, he's going to get some screening. Like the, uh, <laughs> nice effect there, eh? I'm just going to... Tiger, you know, he's a great... I've got a service dog, and I'm telling you, he's funny. He's a funny dog. But yeah, he likes to knock twice. Bang, bang. He's a knocker.
So are we going to the backyard? Is Shamir? Oh, it's Shamir. It's their show. I'm just here at their request. Okay, Shamir. Okay. So are we good? To, uh, did you want to go through? Because uh, yes, yes. Okay. okay. Was over here, Shamir? Yeah. Okay. He already tied this down because it was loose. It was like front rail, metal. It's loose. Okay. And I think he sent me a picture of this one. Let me see if I can cross reference to his pictures. I think he did. I told him pictures are better than videotape. So just to confirm, have 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 you or him actually brought this stuff? Like all the stuff that This was, was always this all this to stuff. The was, this was like, yes. Have you, have you made yes. him aware of it? Okay. Yes, he's been aware of this for some time. Okay. Two years ago, he said he was going to fix, the, uh, finish putting the fence in. Mm -hmm. So we'd have a fenced-in backyard so I could have my grandchildren over. Mm -hmm. And I'm scared to death Tiger might see a squirrel back there and dart for mm -hmm. Weber Street. Oh, he's such a good dog, too. It would be okay. horrible. So hopefully you can help explain some of the pictures, because I noticed that he has a definite, or uh, kind of a description, but it doesn't tell me exactly. Yes. So I got So that. there's a break in here that... So the cement... Yeah, and the, uh, the carpet in here should be fixed before somebody hurts themselves. Okay. Carpet here. Okay. All right. Um... What we have here is, I don't think the eaves have been cleaned out. There might be a break in this corner, Shamir. Okay. What happens is it gets filled in when the snow melts. Mm -hmm. It comes straight down here. And what we have is all the water goes straight into the basement. It does? Yes, it okay. does. So what I would suggest on that one, and again, I'll summarize this by email. Okay. What I would suggest by this one is, and we can take a peek inside. I think he showed me yeah, pictures yeah. of the inside. We can go yeah. inside, but when it's actually coming in, mm -hmm. um, also call us. But we'll see what we can get okay. done in terms of this. So the eaves definitely need to be looked at because they might be full. They're not running properly, not, not straight through properly. So it comes down here, and then it's ending up... And it ends up the in the basement. Yeah, they didn't... I don't think they put this in properly. Maybe before they did the ash, asphalt yeah. here, they had it. You can see almost like the steel steel was in there, but it's gone now. Now, is there... Downstairs is laundry, I see. What else That's is laundry. Downstairs? Is there sleep? Is there a we have No, we have our studio downstairs. Okay. Our music studio is downstairs. So water and a music studio do not mix, eh? Yeah. No. <laughs> Okay, so they replaced these stairs. Yep. These are good, you know, I'm not going to break my neck on these ones, but I did have an accident coming down here. These ones here, um, not good. I, I don't think the, the way the angle is, is proper because have you walked down them? Yeah. You make sure you hang on to the railing. It's really hard. I have to go sideways to get down without hurting myself. I missed the second last one, and I really hurt my knee. I've been bad with my knee for two years now because of that second last kid. Well, I don't think the treaders are wide enough. Yeah. So I'm going to call Laura Stewart, at city, uh, the administrative assistant, to uh, Mr. Maida and Mr. Turner. I believe she identified herself as. Um, I'm going to call her and ask her if she can identify the person from the fire department that does the inspections because we need to get in touch with him as well. Separate department and all that. Um, anyway, uh, so let's see how that goes. 519 
of our bylaw enforcement assistants are currently busy. If you'd like to leave a voicemail in the general delivery mailbox, press 1. If not, please stay on the line and your call will be answered in sequence. All of our bylaw enforcement assistants are currently busy. Please stay on the line and your call will be answered in sequence. How are you today? I'm thanks on yourself. I'm pretty good. Um, just want to let you know I'm actually disabled. I'm speaking on a speakerphone, so it may sound a little different. All right. Because it's sitting on the table and I'm uh, hands-free. No, thank you very okay. much for letting me know. Yeah, yeah no problem. Um, actually, it's Chris Bacon calling, uh, 100 A Marshall Street. I was talking with Laura Stewart earlier. Is she available? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, would you like to talk to her again? Yeah, please. Because right. she knows what's going on already, too. Do you mind right? if I take your name again? Yeah, it's Chris Bacon from 100A Marshall. I just, uh, I'm looking to get the name and contact information of the person who does the fire inspections. Oh, for the rental I'm license, right? Let me transfer your call. Yeah, yeah, please. Thank you. Oh, you have a good day, too, eh? Actually, no, my, my bad, because she's at lunch. She's coming oh. sometime. Oh, well, then I'm maybe you could just tell me, because it's just, I just need the name and contact. It. Like, they have somebody from the city, uh, city of Waterloo Fire Department that does this especially for the rental licensing. Yeah, so uh, uh, there's a gentleman, I forget, they, they they identified him once before, but I forget who he is, so I was just trying to get his name and contact information so I could uh, call him. I don't have the information available. Let me take a look. Give me just one second. Yeah, yeah, please, please. Find something through the website. Yeah, please, thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Or is there a manager around? Maybe they know. Uh, no, my manager is away. Yeah, Shamir's away too, eh? Exactly. What about Shane? Is Shane around? It, he's also away. <laughs> <laughs> They must be off fishing somewhere, I bet, eh? Because the river's the river's high right now. It's nice weather for fishing. I bet you they're in a boat somewhere looking for bass, right? Probably you're right. Yeah, yeah. Give me just one second. Let me 
find yeah, no the problem. Guy. The phone number fire. Don't mean to distract you, but are you having a good no, day no, no, so no, far? No, 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 don't worry about it. Are you having a good day so far? Well, you know, this place is always busy. Yeah, yeah. By yeah. law, it's always funny. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm sure it's not funny to a lot of people, but yeah. <laughs> it must no, be an interesting place to it, work, it, though, right? I mean, that way, eh? When yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah I understand. That is not happy and all those I things. used to do cu uh, customer service, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Exactly, yeah, yeah, then yeah. it has to, to good times and, you know, so Yeah, yeah, you, time, you, you do what you can, right? That is correct. That's all you can do, so... Then give me just one second. What's your name? Henry. Henry's my name. You are very good at what you do, especially for some of the contacts I've had with the city before. Oh, so thank you very much. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I appreciate it. No problem. And if I'm right. talking to anybody about my contacts, I'm going to mention you. So I'll, I'll be. Oh. if somebody comes back and says somebody's telling stories about you, you know, you know who it is, right? But it'll be the good one. Thank I'll be you. saying that's who you should be following. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> You're the good end of the yeah. scale. I have here the phone number. Okay. You can call and they will be able yeah. to help you out. Yeah, sure, no problem. The phone number is 519. 519. 884. 884. 2121. 2121. Is that the uh, fire department here? That will be the Waterloo Fire Station number two. That's on Weber Street here? That's correct. Yeah, okay, cool. They, they, that, actually, this one is in 470 Columbia Street, which is the headquarters. Oh, right, that's, yeah, okay, 470 Columbia, right. Exactly. Because they used to, they used to have it up here, but now they got them all at the at the headquarters now, right? The new That's correct. Now? Yeah, yeah. That's correct. Good for okay, them. Give them a call, and they will be able to get, to help you out with the information you are looking for. Okay, thank you very much again. Right. And, and have you had lunch yet? Say that again. Have you had lunch yet? Oh, mine is at one. Okay. Um, well, you enjoy your lunch. It, it's kind of kind of. It's better than yesterday, anyway, outside. So. <laughs> I, I, I agree with that. Okay, I'll talk to you later. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Take care. All right. Bye. Be well. Okay, well, I gotta say, I just had one of my most pleasant customer service experiences as a person with a disability anywhere, in ever dealing with any kind of government service, especially the city of Waterloo. So I wonder if it's a set answering service, but this guy is really good. Anyway, I'm gonna have to make mention of that too, because it's always good to show people the standard they should be looking to try and achieve. And it also pats them on the back for doing a good job. And they are doing something right. People complain enough. You gotta try and offer solutions. Anyway, um, right now, and what I was doing, I was calling to uh, municipal enforcement at City of Waterloo. Uh, I forget his name, but uh, really kind gentleman, very professional. Anyway, uh, just looking for the uh, identity of the fire inspector, uh, rental license, City of Waterloo, uh, name and contact info, and he referred me to 470 Columbia Street, Waterloo, 519-884-2121. So that's who I'm going to call right now. For that info, 519-884-2121. Hi, Christina speaking. How are you today? Pretty good. I met your uh, your sister or something, your relative, Nicole, speaking at another place I was talking to today. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I was just wondering, um, uh, regard to rental license for the city of Waterloo, they have a designated fire inspector that does that, I believe. So I just wanted to know what his name is and contact info. Um, I just have to put you through to um, my colleague, Laura, yeah, sure. yeah. Uh, and she'd be able to help you with that. Um, just what's her name? Sorry? Laura. Uh, Laura, okay. Thank you. This is John. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, I just realized what time it is, so you're probably enjoying lunch right now, hopefully. Uh, 102 in the afternoon on Thursday, May the 23rd. 
It's Chris Bacon calling 519-603-4104. Um, I had a ten I'm a tenant of a unit that has a rental license. Um, I understand I was uh, advised by the uh, municipal enforcement that there's a separate gentleman who's been uh, designated as the fire inspector with regard to this kind of thing. So I was wondering if we could find out contact info, like his name and uh, contact information, please. 519-603-4104. Uh, I'm a person with a disability, so the reason why it sounds kind of weird is I'm actually talking through a speakerphone, uh, which I do quite frequently, so uh, it's not a normal thing. Anyway, sometimes people, because I guess it's loud and boomy here, sometimes think I might be getting too loud or something. Uh, anyway, just let me know. And uh, thank you very much. You have a good day. Okay, 519-603-4104, and I'm looking for the name and contact information for the person who does the fire inspections, and hopefully he's been doing it for a while, uh, so we're only talking to one person. Thank you very much, and you have yourself a good day, and today's date is, uh, oh, sorry, it's uh, Thursday, I think, yeah, Thursday, May 23rd, 2019, and it's 1.03 p.m. Have a good day. Bye now. Hello. Oh, hi. Um, this is Laura calling from Waterloo Fire Rescue. I'm the administrative assistant here, just returning your call. Yeah, how are you today, Laura? I'm not too bad, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. Um, yeah, like I said, my name is Chris Bake, and I'm at 100 A Marshall Street in Waterloo, which is Weber Marshall. Um, it's gone through rental application process, uh, prior uh, owners and that. Apparently, we were told for the last two years it has been without a license, uh, which creates a situation of legality or something like that because of the bylaw. But either way, um, I'm looking for, I was speaking with um, Julie Scott, I believe her name is. That's right, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm a person with a disability. First of all, I'm on a speakerphone too, uh, so that's okay. why it might sound a little different. But, um, no worries. Yeah, so I've got... Um, uh, I don't know if she could send, I don't know if, she said it out to all clerks, I don't know if that gets to you too, but anyway, um, what I'm looking for is it's a freedom of information request that she's helping me with for the city, I'm just wondering if for the fire department I have to do a separate one in order to get a copy of the fire inspection for the last uh, couple of years. Um, no, if you've already put the request in uh, through Julie and Legislative. Legis okay, so I just have to, con because I'm, I'm putting it together in an email for her right now, and then she said she was going to fill that out, so I just wanted to cover the basis. So, Oh, and the other thing, too, is I need to know the name. Yeah, that's the other thing. Sorry, i got a brain injury. Um, so, just like I got a note here. Um, yeah, the name, of, the name and contact information for the actual fire inspector, because they have one person designated by for the city, right? For, uh, no, well, for rental licenses, uh, I mean, or something? For rental license, yeah. um, Phil, Phil Tusky. Oh, just a second. Um, hang on a second. Just really but sorry. I'm, I'm going to check the database because um, yeah, yeah. depending on um, when exactly this inspection... Or, or if there's actually, a, more correctly, it might be who is the person who oversees that part of the department because uh, administratively, because, again, we're talking about... Uh, Chances are, now again, I know you can't answer questions up front and stuff like that, but from what I understand, the situation to be is that um, since 2017, there has not been a license. Um, our Freedom of Information request will tell us how long before that it was, because it used to be a university housing building, which means the rental uh, licensing was uh, adhered to from the start because of the requirements of the university and, and making sure that housing is following what they're supposed to. So. What it is is that at some point it changed hands for ownership, which is the new owner did not continue what he was supposed to do. So um, we're just looking at what happened prior to that and when the last time it was licensed kind of thing. So um, it may be because it's past records, I don't probably have to speak to the person because they're getting they're going through the process right now too, right? That's right. So, so I don't want to interfere with that in any way either. Uh, I do want to communicate our concerns to the department with regard to what we've discovered uh, and as that, far as deficiencies, and that, but and that's fine. Like yeah. through the FOI request, what will happen is. But I would also contact him with that to us. We have so a letter. It be a specific person per se. Was yeah. Just, everyone would. Yeah. Look. The only thing is, is that we have a letter that outlines that we've already pr uh, produced to the uh, both the landlord and to the city of Waterloo, which outlines deficiencies, and there's also an issue that came up with regard to the water heater. As regard to past uh, inspections, apparently it was never vented properly. 
and they went to it was percolating just recently which is why and again this is just to let you guys be aware and and checks and balances and that right because uh mistakes get made or whatever but it is corrected now but just to bring to your attention especially for how you look at things now um the venting was wrong on the water heater. When they came to replace the water heater, he red tagged it the way he should because it was improper venting. It had always been improper venting, and they corrected it since then, so everything's good. But um, it did pass inspections in the past with it like that. So, again, this is just purely for informational purposes so that you guys can do your follow-up in that as well. But uh, there is a, a document from the actual uh, situation that happened because once he red takes it, he wrote up this thing and then he said, here, you got to give this to your landlord, which we did, and everything was taken care of properly. Okay. But I um, just want to make sure that um, maybe in your checks and balances, you can make sure that there's another way to make sure it's not uh, overlooked. Our recommendation is that we're, we're trying to push to the city and other shit stakeholders that because the law is clear that it's the landlord and owner's responsibility, they should just be made to get a provincial housing inspection, and like a full one, and present it. Then that way you guys go in there and just do your checks and balances to make sure it's in line with what you're supposed to because the onus is on the landlord to make sure it meets minimum standard, right? But anyway, the point is, is regardless of all that, uh, just to give you guys a heads up that maybe you want to let people know you're going to make sure you do a little extra bit of diligence, I guess. Oh, anyway, no, just to make sure it doesn't happen again. That's yeah, yeah. The process. It's the proactive. Um, we're taking a proactive it's attempt. It's not an or approach. It's not about. When we receive an FOI yeah, request yeah. through okay. legislative services, yeah. it is checked. Everyone checks to see if they have any notes. We go through files. Okay. Okay. We produce everything. Okay. Um, so it's not a separate department. I can do it through her. That's perfectly fine. That's what I was hoping awesome. to hear. So, but, yeah, uh, so but, it's not one specific person. We can, we. But um, as far as the upcoming inspection, we need to send him what our concerns are. Like, again, things that are uh, out of place here. Yeah, like for but, and then that would, that would be, like, if you're requesting another inspection, then that's... No, it's not. It hasn't been performed yet. Okay. It, on, on this one, because they just notified the landlord in January. So, again, and apparently, it, I, and I've, I've gone through the channels, and they've told me what they've been able to, which is basically this person is more or less uh, independent for that part of it, for rental license. They have their own schedule. They do it in their own time when they're able to because they're backlogged and stuff, right? They've got they've got their things they have to do, right? So basically, it's first come first serve kind of thing, and it hasn't taken place yet. So that's why I'm just saying, without interfering with it, uh, if we have uh, concerns, we just want to be able to write it down and say, here's things that we think you should look at, and that might have been missed from before, right? Okay, so because uh, there's there's a situation with uh, I'm understanding. So you you have already put in a request for no, no. inspection? No, no. The, no, uh, the way it works is that I guess the landlord is required to do it. Somehow the city, like he was required to have it done and he didn't. He, he, he was supposed to have a license in here since 2017. He hasn't. Okay. Uh, they're not allowed to conduct it. Like it ended up being this whole exposure to a situation anyway. Um, he got, the city caught up with him. And they're putting them through the process right now. We were notified in January of these inspections that were necessary and, and required and, and welcomed for the process for rental application, right, by, by what we're doing. We assumed it had already been done, right? So uh, no, no problem. Yeah, it, it, it's basically the landlord is the one who did this to himself. The law is working exactly the way it was designed to because it's designed to try and catch the situation. Uh, when applied properly, it's going to do what it needs to do, right? Like everything's going to, everything should, like, it's very rare in life that you get to say, you know, uh, I'm not the one who writes the laws, but we have to follow it, right? <laughs> so uh, the only point that I'm trying to make is in our discovery of what has gone wrong in the past and what might have slipped the, the, the process of analysis, we want to point out so that uh, you just take extra care. And make sure that it's you're aware that th it, this is what slipped by because the one with the vent thing is a little big, right? So it because it exposed us to, technically, it could have exposed us to uh, gas. Ex like it was, it wasn't vented properly, which means it could have had venting into the house. And, and it's been like that for years. Prior, it wasn't caught before for whatever reason. And again, no system's perfect, right? We're just trying to say that this is what stood out. So, and, and this is something the fire needs to be aware of because I don't know if it's fire, it, it, it should actually come under furnace inspection, right? 
but as far as another hazard so just uh and and it's all been documented like uh properly the way it's supposed to be through tssa and all that too yeah, yeah. um so it's just a matter of checks and balances you know we want to always look for where little mistakes are made and where we might be able to correct them to make sure it's prevented for the per for the future so this is our fire prevention agreement right sure. between all yeah, parties right? that, that's so there's nothing else to do with that at all the only other thing would be the major thing is that the carbon monoxide detectors in here it used to have like multi uh, like every room was rented before we took it. Now they've got it down to a, a family residential kind of thing. But before that, they had carbon monoxide, and the carbon monoxide detectors are still in here, but they're like uh, eight feet off the ground. They're not supposed to be more than three feet off the ground. And never have. So, I mean, that's, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like everything else in here, fire wise, is perfect. They even put the, because of the multiple un, uh, unit dwelling, they put fire lights in, multiple fire extinguishers, and that. So, there's not a problem that way. It's just, uh, again, that's that's a little note because, again, if it's not three feet off the ground, by the time that alarm goes off, you're already dead. Right. So and, and every place where they put it, they, they and it says right on it, please just, you know, it's not supposed to be over, I think it's three feet off the ground, so that, which is basically so bed level. Right. So as soon as it gets to bed level or just about bed level, that's when it's supposed to go off until you get the hell out, right? Anyway, um, just a little, and again, it's not a major thing. It's just a little note, and may, and it's something that could have simply been overlooked. I'm not sure. I may, is it even part of it? I don't know. But it is certainly as far as a re, the purpose of the law and and the reasonability of the safety issue, it, it's something that should be pointed out so we see that, you know, even if it's an education thing where we have to educate people if it's their responsibility, right? Anyway, just okay. trying to make it better in whatever we could do. Um, that, that would be that you're doing the right steps. Um, if you're requesting an FOI request, then you... Yeah, I'll do the FOI through through Julie, which is fine. I'm actually doing an email today. And the land, yeah. and, the, and my neighbors may be doing the same thing, as far as I understand. And the uh, only reason I had said about uh, well, Phil Teske now does rental license. Yeah. But, um, Sorry, what's his name again? Pat, but he, he may not have inspected that because... Yeah, yeah, no, I know that. That's why I was saying this is yeah. years ago. Uh, like the last one, it, it, you're talking 2017, which means, and there was one on the corner, like in hanging up. So there was one from the previous owner, but they had just changed owners at that time. So he may have got that renewed in 2016 to 2017, because I believe they have to renew by March 31st every year too. So we're talking at least three years ago since an inspection was done here to grant well, the license. Wasn't here then. That's why I'm saying that it might be better that part to go through administration because we're talking basically looking back in the record, see, and, and, and again, for you guys to check how it happened and, and maybe you have to put an extra layer in or maybe do a meeting with your inspectors and just, just go, hey, guys, heads up, this happened, uh, let's be aware of it or whatever you have. I don't know how you do it, but I mean, I, I know you do it and I know you do it well, so, okay, uh, you, so but I you have to have the information, right? Sure. So that's, that's where, that's strictly where it comes from. Um, and other than that, um, or just let him know if and when he comes here, because we're still here. Um, when he does come for the fire inspection, he has no problem with us at all. Uh, the only thing we wanted to mention is about the carbon monoxide, if it's even part of the inspection. Because I don't know if carbon monoxide is. I think it is, but, you know, that's up to him. But uh, that's the only thing I would say. So, and again, we're just going to correct Can it. I but we can't touch anything without it, without him mentioning it, right? So that's 100A Marshall. 100A Marshall Street in Waterloo. There's actually four four properties, and the only reason why I know this is because when he gave us the notice, it had all four properties listed on it. So the four properties that we know of that are currently under review since January are 98A and B. They're, they're uh, semi-detached. So 98A and B, and then 100A and B, because that's the addresses he had on the top of our notice to each one of us. Okay, so... So those are the ones we're aware of. So you might want to look at... Uh, and, and because it's the same... Uh, and it's the same thing. They were previously owned. He just bought them around the same time. They were all occupied around the same time by the new tenants. And, of course, everything else you get through what you guys are doing with the city anyway. Um, I guess Shamir and uh, Shane, right? Okay. With municipal Wait, enforcement and, or something. Sorry, your name again was Chris. Chris Bacon. I am one of the tenants. I'm a co-tenant of 100A Marshall Street. We've put everything into writing. Shane and Shamir are totally aware of what's going on. Okay. Communications Worldwide Inc. is the landlord. They're already aware. They have a rep, Tim Ellis, because we have to get to the bottom of this by June 1st because we can't be breaking law by paying rent. Okay. 
if that means by paying rent we're breaking the law. Okay. Until this rental, like again, it's just a big mess. But we're trying to sort our way through it as long, and and we're not, we don't feel not safe here. You know, I'm sure everything will work out, but it just needs a couple corrections here and there, and uh, you know. But I mean, that's for you guys to determine, right? Sorry, can I get your last name, Chris? Bacon, same as in breakfast. B A C O N. Perfect. Right. That's great. Just lucky my middle name doesn't start with a P. But I, people used to tease me when I was a kid, but I turned in adversity into positive because that's my email now. It's crispy bacon. Oh, that's Maybe I could turn it into a brand and make a million dollars and I could sit there and go, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. No, anyway. Uh, okay, that's great. Well, thanks yeah. for calling and just, uh, so, uh, yeah. that's great. Sorry, okay. sorry, what was his name again? Just, uh... Uh, Phil Teske, um... Phil, how do you spell oh, his last name? T-E-S-K-E-Y. K-E-Y? That's right. So, and what's his actual position there? Uh, so he's a fire prevention officer. Fire prevention officer. He, um does the rental license inspection for rental license mm -hmm. i just go rli same thing okay at least i got his name and like i said if there's a way to communicate with him uh tell him there's no adversity here whatsoever i don't know what they're saying on the other end it's all about just uh, working cooperating with each other to make sure it's done properly and everything's the way it should be now right and any way we can assist him in doing that he's got our full cooperation Okay, so and much. anything we can do. And uh, uh, again, the other, other thing is, like I said, if you let him know the concern about the carbon dioxide, he'll see it for himself when he comes. Okay. Because it's way up, it's almost like, it's a foot below the fire detector. Okay, that's great. Anyway, so that's such a minor thing, but we can fix it. Uh, it's just that, okay. technically because of lease, I can't touch it until he makes a determination, right? Okay, that's okay. great. That's, that's where we're coming from. So anyway, thank right. you very much. What was your name again? Laura. Laura, thank you very much. You're, You're great. Welcome. I appreciate it. Okay. And you have yourself a good afternoon. Thank you. Take care.